Swim Things in Blue Springs, your one-stop shop for all things swim. Pools, spas, patio furniture, swimwear, and accessories. Visit them in Blue Springs or at www.swimthings.com. We just kept kind of reloading every year and keeping guys going. and um, It was just a lot of fun once you got it going, just the, the challenge of keeping all the balls in the air and training new parents every year to run meets and um, doing all that kind of stuff. It was really uh, – I really like that challenge, you know, and kind of filling the gaps in the lineup by going out and getting some former baseball guy or some some soccer player to dive or just whatever we had to to kind of plug in those last spots. It was uh, became a really fun challenge. your first title was that your like best accomplishment or was that your favorite accomplishment or would you say something different um because I know as a coach we all have our memorable moments in our coaching career and so I guess what would yours be um in that wow 42 years that's that's real hard to pick one thing Um, I guess coaching wise that first title, because because of what it represented and how far we had to kind of drag the league at the time. And, um, it, you know, expectations are funny things. When everything around you is down here and you aspire to be up here, um, we had to keep them, we had to keep everybody pointed in the right direction. We had to keep them pointed at St. Louis. We had to keep them pointed at the Columbia Hickmans at the time, mm-hmm. the Glendales, the, the top programs that were all trying to compete um, for those top four spots. And, and it became, um, I think for all of us on, on the staff and, and the parents and, and administrators, it, it really became a, uh, a sense of, we've helped turn a corner for Kansas city and swimming because it wasn't supposed to be able to be done. Um, It wasn't something that was um, considered possible and especially not park OS, especially not that group of girls and especially not the way we did it, running them down. They beat us in a dual meet by my Lord, I'm 57. I mean, that's not in a dual meet in a six lane pool. Mm -hmm. That's not far off from getting minimum score. Now, now, in all fairness, um, we'd had a, a hellacious week. I mean, we'd done uh, a day of really great max VO2. I think we started the week with 100 100s in the 105. Oh, my we, gosh. <laughs> we, so by Saturday, we were a tired bunch of, of kids. And, and, yeah, we were rested at the right time, and it worked out. But still, and, and even that, it was one of those things where um, – when the medley swam the way they did and going from, I don't know, fourth or fifth to three seconds better than West. Um, and they had loaded it. And then it was like, you know, then it became reality. And then the 200, I think our fourth 200 girl was like the 34th or 33rd seed. And she got in. That's awesome. And, and, and so when, and you know how that is, I mean, so mm-hmm. here's this little freshman that gets in and then some sophomore sees that and says, Oh, she's not faster than me. I beat her every day at practice. And then she stepped up and then our senior was like, are you kidding me? She is not within two seconds. And she steps up and is in the top two or three spots. And it just, it just kept happening it's like a day. snowball effect, yeah. It, it, it was, and I kept having to remind myself, you know, to get out of the way of that. As Coach Coach Malone always said, get out of the way. Just encourage it. Just 
If it mm-hmm. slows up a little bit, just give it a little, little encouragement to roll down the hill some more and, and don't do too much. And so uh, we just kept the coaches all talking amongst ourselves about, you know, let's just encourage them, let it go and let it roll. And, and the kids, uh, those girls took it from there. I mean, they just, they were, they were very confident uh, about things. So it was, um, I think that was my first bet too. And I can't remember what the bet was that year. It was something small. I think it was food, which they always wanted, you know. Oh yeah. You know, swimmers. I mean, they can eat. They can eat. They, they can, eat. can So I think that was food that year. The next year was not food and probably a mistake on my part. So I let them, I, I never thought they'd break the point total record. So I, and, and several of the girls were managers for the boys as well as our club swimmers. And so at the state meet, they saw country day set the point total record for the boys. I think 130 or 132, and again, six lane pool, different scoring. Right. And so I don't know who it was. Carrie Lolly. I think it was Carrie Lolly superintendent out in, uh, Phoenix. And she said, well, coach, what do you give us if we, I said, I don't know. What do you want? And right away she goes, what a shave your head. Oh no. I was like, I was like, I looked around and Greg and I are looking at Greg's like, you're okay. You're safe. It's all good. So they're not going to score 132 points. And so I was like, sure. Why not? You know? And honestly didn't think about it. And we had, we got into that season and things just got better and better and better and better. And we set our record from the year before in the medley and, you know, one bull, three lays, won most of the events. And next thing I know, I'm getting down at the meet and we scored a bunch in diving and I'm looking at the total going 238. Oh, crap. So I didn't say anything. We just talked about, hey, we're sorry, having a good time. I didn't say anything. We have an assembly to raise the banner and present the trophy to the superintendent and the principal. We get all done. And, but I did wonder. I mean, I, I had mentioned to my wife that it was going to happen. I didn't expect her to be sitting there with my boys. And I, I so we get all done. Everything's great. I'm sitting on the podium. And the, the, the DS up there and the superintendent gets done. He said, thank you, everybody. Oh, and there's just one more thing. And behind me, I heard this. <laughs> I went, oh, man. That's so they all got to take swipes at it. And it, look, it was literally the worst haircut of all time. I mean, totally bald in patches and fuzz in some. And But I, I had a cap. Actually, I think one of the coaches loaned it to me. So I had a ball cap for the next few weeks. But yeah, that was. Uh, I made good on my word. Made sure I made good on my word. We did a lot of bets, and some were really worked out well. So <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I love it. I you gotta have fun. Love it. It. Yeah, you gotta, gotta have fun. You gotta enjoy it, and you know the incentives are there. Um, mm-hmm. I can tell you a story about one of our assistant coaches. <laughs> so he bet one of our swimmers. He was like, "Hey, you break the school record," and I think it was a hundred freestyle. He was like, I'll get a spray tan. And so then, you know, our swimmer went and, you know, it didn't break it the first time. So he was like, I got finals. I'll be all right. So come back in finals. And he broke the school record. And, you know, our assistant coach was like, well, I made the bet. This is what we're going to do. So it was so funny. All the kids went and, you know, they, (laughs) some of the kids did it with them. Like the girls were like, I'm going to go with you and get a spray tan too. (laughs) So it was, it was a hilarious moment, but I, I looked at him the next day and I was like, you look good. I was like, it's not even that orange, you know, it's just looks really good. So um, I definitely will say the incentives, they're there. Those kids will yeah. go after it, especially, um, yeah. but good. So I guess kind of the next question I wanted to ask mm-hmm. you, and I know each coach goes through a tough time in their period of coaching mm-hmm. or, you know, they have struggles and whatnot, but ha- 
in your coaching career, you know, mm-hmm. what struggles did you have, you know, um, whether that was family to, you know, work-life balance or whatever the case was, but what I guess was your struggles through coaching and whatnot? Um, biggest for me was probably, um, that pull between family time and be able to give what you felt you needed to give to coaching. Mm -hmm. And I was very supportive, had a very supportive wife. And so I was very, very fortunate there, um, that she was willing to, um, pick up the slack. And so, um, it, it really it made it so I could do the things I wanted to do by and large, um, coaching wise, but, um, within coaching, within just <laughs> the, the, the realm of being on deck and those things, um, I heard a guy named Ron Young that I thought was a, a brilliant coach back in the day say that, um, yeah, there's science involved in coaching, but you're an artist, you're painting on a human canvas. You know, you, you, yeah, you're, you're listed as head coach of the team, but you're coaching all these individual kids mm-hmm. and that's what you're doing. You know, you're not teaching, in other words, you're not teaching in the classroom, you're teaching a kid in the classroom. So um, that struggle for me was very hard and I, I'm very good at narrow focus instinctively and I had to develop more of a broad focus Right. Because there would be times where I, I would literally get done and look over and then why is the JV completely dry? Uh, it's five o'clock. We should have been in the water. And I just lost track that coach had taken off on a tangent and decided yeah. to use some massive dry land instead of, you know, finish a couple sets that I thought were important. So I, I had to develop some broad focus. That was one internal struggle. Uh, another internal struggle was just the whole motivation thing, just k- keeping swimmers motivated, you know. And again, at this point, I was still uh, a very, very traditional um, swim coach, you know, believing that, you know, got to grind them up a little bit, you know, if we're going to make them better. The deeper you get that training in, the more effective it is in the long haul. So, um we were always trying to motivate. We did all kinds of things. We had goal sets every week. And I got, I stole that idea from Dick Annula. So every day there was a goal set. Now it might be, I mean, if it's a butterfly set um, on Monday, if it's you know, 10, two hundreds with or without fins, depending on the kid, you know, cause some aren't very good butterflies. So you had to give them an A and yeah. some you gave big fins to it. Some you gave halves to it. Some you gave the little zoomers to it. And some had nothing, you know, I mean, Troy Nelson never got anything unless I wanted him to consistently go under two minutes in high school. Then, okay, Troy, I'll let you wear fins, but everything's under two minutes, you know? So it, it just was, again, that, that meshing individuals in the different lanes, keeping everybody, you know, it was always like, um, kind of felt like I was an orchestra conductor. Sometimes you're kind of just, Okay. Okay. Hit that note. All right, let's go. So Mm -hmm. yeah, Greg, why don't you run the the Pilates and the dry land tonight? Jeff, I want you to run the weight room tomorrow. You know, and just, you're always just doing things like that. And it's just constantly, you know, plinking at the strings and trying to get the right tone. And, Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so that balance between individual and team and that motivation to keep coming back, keep doing more and the goal sets helped tremendously. And then we had another thing, I had a year where I graduated virtually all my boys' points. And I wasn't worried about my girls' team because they were steadily moving up. This would have been 85. And so, and I like and the goal, and the kids all were very behind the goal sets. And so I thought, well, I need to enhance that a little bit. So we came up with this point system where they got, you know, basically just got these black marks. And I experimented with it in the summer with the club. And I had parents come in after about two weeks, two and a half weeks. And a bunch of moms came in and said, okay, we got to do something. I said, what's the matter? And they said, Bill, you're making the marks on their arm and they won't wash their arm because the black mark they earned will go away. And I went, (laughs) oh, okay. You know what? We'll solve that. We're going to put them on their caps. And we transferred everything to the caps. And we put them on the caps. And we told them, you know, if you break a cap, you don't throw it away because we'll transfer over. So then it became very obsessive. And, it, you know, how, especially the girls, they'd tear a piece out of the cap 
Oh my God. I'll never forget one of our, I don't know. Amy would have been 13 then 12 or 13. And she torn a piece out and very carefully put it by our equipment. Well, one of the coaches went by saw the cap and it was flipped over. Just thought it was garbage. Went to throw it away. And she saw her from the other end of the 50 meter pool in a kick set. <laughs> I've never heard an assistant coach dressed down by a swimmer quite like that before. You bring my black mark back right now, coach. It's like, Whoa. <laughs> and so and sure we flipped it over. Oh, no, got to leave that there, coach. <laughs> but we, we did things like that. And that really helped And the point totals giving them points for different things, like how far you could go under 30 in the fifties. You know, if we were doing a set of the minutes, um, you could get a whole lot more points for going 22s, 23s, 24s, than you could go in 29s, things like that. You know, yeah, you got a point for going under a minute and a hundred for guys in practice, but you got 10 points for going, you know, 53, you know, mm -hmm. you got 20 for going 50. And I only had one guy the first year that did that. But, it, but, you know, it, it, they all went much faster because of it. And it's it just that reinforcement and motivation. But that was always, for me, a struggle was keeping the motivation fresh and, and kind of aiming it at the different kids, you know, because uh, they all needed to relate to it differently. But that, right. those were my internal struggles as a coach.